You have grown strong, heroes of light. It... it... it can't it be. It can't be. Sir Sloan? Sir Sloan? It has been, half, it has been a half a century now since your grandfather, Noble Godric, gave his life that the Nexus might be sealed away. Yea, though we did strive to attain the means by which this cruel fate might be avoided, t'was not to be. His destiny, like that of those who came before him, was to sacrifice himself that we, his brothers and sisters, might live. But you're saying, you're there, saying is there is a way to avoid it. Perhaps, if thou, if thou art grown as mighty as thou seemest. Whoa. Come, the asterisk of bravery is thine for the taking. Show me your courage, heroes of light. True bravery consists in confronting that which we fear. Alas, tis a feat easier spoken of than achieved. Canst thou trust in the light of hope and stand unfaltering in the face of a foe whose power is beyond imagining? thy metal. Prove to me thy hard-won courage. Thank <laughs> you. 
achieve my beginning. consists also in belief. Belief in spite of fear. The strength to overcome adversity. Stand tall, heroes of light. No matter the foe. Reach for the light of hope within and forge a way ahead. Cheers. 
Truly, thou art worthy of the crystal's blessing. And so, the asterisk too shall be thine. But, but, I don't get it. Wasn't the asterisk of bravery... Indeed so. Twas cloven in twain. And it's one half since spinning into the void some fifty years since. But, the stone was not lost. No. No. True bravery is never far from those who know where to seek it. Gaze closely upon the pommel of my beloved blade. It, it, it's half, half, an asterisk. And lo. What? What? You mean I have the other half? I, I, I found this when I was out on that old woman's boat. Gloria. Gloria. Give me your hand. Give me your hand. Uh, all right. All, all right. So how did that piece of asterisk wind up on the other side of the sea? Didn't it get sucked into some kind of void or something? Yes, it is rather a mystery, isn't it? Heroes of light, tis time to venture forth. May thy bravery shatter at long last the cruel chains of destiny. Sir Sloan. Well, I'll be jiggled. Who'd have thought the pain of you had the asterisk all along? We cannot let our old friend down. Right. Looks like it's our turn to be the heroes. Let's do this. Crikey! What's up, Elvis? What's up, Elvis? This is... This is... Amazing! Amazing! I can read it. I can read it. Finally, I, Finally, I, 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 I can read it all. I knew it was, I knew it was worth hunting down all those asterisks. No way. No way. So what does it so say? say? Give us a wee second. Give us a wee second. Oh, let's, see let's see now. What the heck? So the book was an asterisk all along. I suppose that explains why getting our hands on the other wee blighters helped us read it. And it was made by the Knight's Nexus, or no, it is the Knight's Nexus. 
Or its memory, at least. So we have to destroy the book if we want to beat the Nexus. Fine, uh, let's just set it on fire or something. Uh, I'm not so sure that'll work. I may have accidentally dropped it in a fire once when I was a wee bit eager to warm myself. Didn't leave so much as a scorch mark, as you can see. I don't think we'll be getting rid of it that easily. But as long as the book remains, we can never hope to defeat the Nexus, no matter how many times we fight it. Right. To destroy it, we need to destroy its memory. Guess we better figure out how.